Hello, you legendary people. Welcome back to Monarchy Season 2 on Fjord Door. And today, as you probably realize, we're taking over the Aberration Cave. Yes, we got a new base spot. I'm moving that crown for it. I got raided the last night beforehand by Mr. Captain Fat Dog. Him stole three of my crowns, the ones that I took from Solo. So I'm down to three crowns now instead of the six that I ended up having. So. <sighs> I just realized th the spot isn't that great. I kind of knew that, but it it's good for just getting set up. But we do need a little quick voice update, yeah? Sounds good. Sounds good to me as well. But other than, like, there's not much added to it with our chem bench and all that kind of good stuff. Got the soul terminal thing going here, which is picking up babies whenever I think. So if I chuck down someone, see if I can get some good new wyverns. None of that wyvern got a mutation on it, but somehow still got, like... I, I'm confused on what's going on there. Our Desmodus baby, as I'm going to be using Desmodus in a way to help protect the base. And so the next couple of episodes or so, I'm hoping to do some a Desmodus breeding, high level taming and breeding and mutation video maybe. Because these things are awesome. Same with Androsarchus. But other than we've got Stegos, we've got the Wyverns. Uh, i got a new Maywing there. Bred one called Zuma. Uh, what else do we got new here in the base? Uh, as you can, uh, you know, I'm not going to talk about those ones. Got them two up there. I put them up there today just in case someone tries. Those turrets throw bullets in them. So he must have wedged himself over the ledge after draining the one turret up there. I did find his dead body over here before, but yeah, so Cap got in here. And the reason I know is because here you go. And this one too. Why? When did I die? Oh yeah, I died because I got picked by a tropio. That's right. <laughs> I was wondering, how, why did I die here, tropio? Right now, we're going to get into the new base location. Let me show you that. Let's get a big base update. We'll bring Sally with us. I am actually going to be setting up a little crafting area in there. So I kind of made myself a stone platform to maybe place inside there. So we'll see how that goes. And that is weighing me down a lot. Can I just unload a little? Why do I weigh so much? Oh, I need to unload. All right, let's go check it out. We're going to place this stone cliff platform in the area where the back area of this cave that where my main stuff is in. Because I, I do need a crafting little area. I do have a teleporter in here. I've been using it. That's where we got the crab. This cave is absolutely awesome. We're going to have to go clear it out first. Get some foundation spam down as well. Hopefully, take over it. Now, the only problem with teleport teleporter every time, I'm, I'm through the mesh. It's a bit weird. It takes a while to like update and lower the mesh down to where it's supposed to be. Where, give it give it a fat second. There we go. So this is where the mission is supposed to be. So this is where my crown vault's gonna be. All the way back here. Yes, sir. Now I don't know where I'm gonna have the craft. I actually think I'm gonna have like a massive turret wall here to block off there, and then I'll have like the uh, crown vault just over here. Over there, actually. Oh yeah, up there would be nice. And if I could put the stone clip platform. Ooh, I don't want to really interrupt my teleporter though with this thing. So I'm just trying to figure out where can I put this. It's going to take up a decent amount of space. So I kind of want to be able to access it right there. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, but people are going to uh, tar it into here. So I'll pick this back up. Mm, i got to figure out where I want to put this. I need to put it somewhere in here. This is the best spot for it actually. Let's get it in. We'll move the teleporter. Pick up a teleporter. Right there. This should do. Uh, rename the teleporter. Uh, cave base. Okay. So now let's head back to base. Get my I need to clear out. Let's clear out this let's clear out this cave. And let me show you off what we're gonna be planning. And I'm gonna build it over time. This might be recorded over a couple of days, so I don't know what episode this is gonna be. So I'm gonna be leaving those turrets set up there with the bats just for defense. For now, I do have we're gonna do a lot of things this episode. Um as you can see, I have a lot of bullets. I have 12 turrets at the moment. I already have some turrets set up there. Uh, we do have a decent amount of metal still. The one thing, good thing about that, where that cave is, there's a lot of metal nodes in that cave that I can harvest while clearing out the cave. I'm going to get a lot of resources while clearing it out. Uh, let's just unload a little bit because I am very much weighted. So I need to just unload shit that's weighing me down for now. I got two bloody rifles on me. I don't need that. I don't need that. Let's just keep ourselves nice and lightweight. That's one thing I need to chuck in there. There's a feeding trough. I made myself a feeding trough because I know I'm going to have teams in here. Definitely ones that are going to help me defend. A lot of the teams that are going to be in there are going to be ones that I don't mind losing defending my crown and stuff like that. While in here, it's just going to be breeding. It's just going to be a nice spot until I move 
to where I'm going to be building up a whole base. The island that I started on, I think I'm going to take over that fully, build it up into a really cool PvE spot, and have it be able to teleport in and out from that to the Ab Cape here. Now, let me just mesh under the floor. Look at me, I'm under the floor, even though this is not the floor height. Come on, update, please. No, I don't have to worry about anything getting into here. Let's pull out my rock drake. I really don't know what to call this girl. Actually, no. I, let's update melee a bit. I, I gotta name this girl. This one's Sapphire. This one's Sapphire. Let's go. Let's get her on it. Could be using her to clear out the cave here. Because there are some nasties in here. Uh, whoop. And there's a snake right there. Look at this. Look at all this bad stuff. Now, I'm going to get some foundation spam in here, hopefully. There are dung beetles in here, which I wouldn't mind taming, but I just completely destroyed that one. Let me just kill everything in here. See? Easy. Now, if we put our foundation... We've got 35 foundations. I should probably make some more, but let's get some foundation spam within here. Some of it might get removed. I'm probably going to leave the snails, because I might end up taming some, but... It's so much like these little stones with the blue thing in them, the middle nodes, so they're actually really going to be good. Like, sometimes I don't even want to actually over-harvest down here, or in here, but I'm going to need to remove some spots, like, of just stuff in the way, because I can't be giving a, um, like... I've already got spam over here. Let's get out of that mode. Let's kill these seekers. So, I saw there's some dangerous stuff over here. I did see something over here. Come on. Show yourself. Oh, the poor Globo got munched. Goodbye, Seeker. Well, there was a Scorpion. 140. Damn, I should have tamed it. Free narcotics. Better donors allows them to have free narcotics. Let me get rid of these Seekers. There we go. Easy kill. Let's just keep trying to spam out stuff. Because I want to be able to start building in here. And having foundation spam is going to allow me to do that. The, the one thing I have noticed, this cave, the idea I originally had has to be reworked. Because look, this stuff here, like... I can't, for some reason, foundations just fall through the ground. It's very weird. This cave is kind of buggy. So it kind of changes where I can build. Like, this bit here, this, oh, this kind of flat foundation area here. Good building. Good building, good building. No, f there's no more ground here. No more ground here. But there's ground right here. So that might decide where I build my certain tower placements to cause choke points. Because there's, there's a lot of choke points in this cave. Can't be having stuff spawn in here. There's a lot of blue crystal in here, which I'm going to be harvesting. Got my gas. Look, this thing harvests so much. I bet you this is, like, ridiculously full. <laughs> Look how much gas balls I have. I'm never running out of gas balls while I'm in here. But we're going to quickly just clear this out, and then we're going to show off, and we'll start building. Start getting the middle turret walls up, and i got two places for some turret walls, some turret tower placements. i got to slowly build it up, but this cave is going to be quite hard to get into. Um... We need to clear out what's down there. To be honest, I feel like blocking that off and leaving that as an easy poly spot. Like, not having this... Like, I feel like putting a big behemoth gate right here. And just having that as free poly. That's another 140 Karkonos. Damn, son. It's like, 140 Karkonos? Can't complain, dude. I already tamed one, but it's like, it's such a good Karkonos spawn. That I kind of want to keep it for myself. Because it's also good at organic polymer. Like, where I am is really good for polymer. Nothing really spawns on this side, so I'm not too fussed about this little area here to spam up. I do want to... So that's where the end of the foundations go on here. So I'm probably going to have to figure out how I'm going to block up this gorge. Because in reality... What's it called? So like on where I'm at now, I cannot build on. But and same with up here. I can't build up on this stuff. So I might be taming some Velonosaurs because I want to get some natural defenses in here. Okay, let's get rid of these snakes and let's get foundation spamming over here. Let's just stop things from spawning up here. Because this is going to be the main defendable part that I'm going to have to defend off. Like I'm going to be starting with. So we're just going to have to start foundation spamming around here. Kill everything. Get some nice foundations going. See, behind that tree, might, it's going to be a really good spot for certain things. But this bit's actually ruined. See, now the line is broken. Always does this. It like breaks in here when you hear a certain spot of the cave. It just breaks. It's kind of sad, but we're gonna clear everything out now. See, having wild creatures in here wouldn't be too bad as well, because like, see now the lighting's fixed again. This is so weird that it does that. I'll see it then. Oh my god, I hate the lighting break in here. It's so annoying. Okay, I'm gonna get a feeding trough down. Now the feeding trough needs to be somewhere under here, underneath. Because I still want access to, like, be able to get in and out of this cave. Because there's a Like, this is just access to the mine. Mine's a Moria cave. And that's always a good part. Okay, can I... So, here we go. Let's fill this bad boy up. Let's get some raw meat in here. 
Boom. Oh, I'll probably take only a thousand, not all. Boom. And let's get some berries up in this boy. Making sure there are berries in here. Look at that. Okay. Now, I think next thing's up. Let's go ahead. I'm going to drag the mammoth and bring the mammoth across. Uh, clear out some zones with the mammoth because I can do that. Oh, I got some wood there, but that's fine. I do need it, like, as I said, the cliff platform there is going to help me build up a nice little zone for um, building. And then I'm probably going to put the vault there around the corner. But I'm not going to be able to get this fully defended up yet. I just want to get the start of it done. And I can climb on. Oh. Okay, let's. I need to get a few things over here. AK, I have an idea. So I'm gonna go do those, and then we're gonna start building up our first heart wall. Oh, I didn't actually show off this bit, but I have, as I have already said, I've kind of started to... Oh, yeah. I've kind of got this area a little bit turreted up. Because it's literally the only way up on there. It's going along there. So trying to get in there is gonna be a pain in the ass. I think I've got one of the best spots in the thing. Like, you have to climb along this brick cloth place, or try and fly on there on a bat. Or Maywing. Try and Maywing yourself up to here. But, like, it's not even worth it. Like, if I turret this off and just have it, like, so you can't land here, good luck. Oh, you just rocket launch yourself in. But let's clear the zone out, boy. I want to start clearing it out. Then you can start getting this turret tower set up. I still need to get way more metal and stuff, but we're going to get a bunch from these metal nodes, man. Because you're about to see what I'm planning. What I'm planning to do to clear this bad boy out. We're going to be using my crab and my ankies together. We're going to be coming out with a lot of metal. Alrighty, okay. So first we need to get out metal smash. Let's go. Hop on here. Hit the... No. There we go. Watch this. We're going to... He's just going to whack shit as we go through. This is literally what we're going to do. Clear out. We're going to be using the crab clipper. So we need to get to the other side. Let me just jump through here. Keep it going. It's actually such an awesome cave. I'm not gonna lie. I'm so happy that I've claimed this. Like, I'm not one to always build in caves because, you know, I like to build outside. And that's what my PvE base is going to be for. But let's get on over there. Crab on over. Start smacking out the stones and stuff. Now, I want to clear out everything around here first. Go, Metal Smash. Give me... Yeah, let's clear out these little things out here. Now, I can hop off, and he can hold on to Middle Smash. I can actually see what Middle Smash is holding. Nope. Can I? Nope. No, oh, not your inventory. Middle Smash inventory. Never mind, I can't. Um, keep going. Yes, let's clear out these guys. So, I'm planning to have a turret tower along that wall there, and one along here, like a turret wall. And then I'm going to have some turret towers later on into the cave, and... Add a few little dangerous areas to deal with. Yeah, this is how I'm going to clear out the cave. I'm just going to use, like, my tames and the crab to clear out this cave with ease. So if I want to see how much what he's got in him, I can just drop him down. Hop down here. See how loaded he is. I don't care about the stone or the flint at the moment or any of that. And then we can go back to picking him back up. Or picking her back up. And just clear out stuff in the way. A big clear out needs to be the stuff here. Now, I see those nodes that have, um, is this not a, oh, no, is that going to be right? That's annoying. This, this little rock here is right where I want to be building. This rock I'm walking over. It looks like it's actually part of the cave. That's a bit annoying. But these blue nodes here are good. These are middle nodes. I'm sorry, Dung Beetle. Let's go middle smash. Let's keep collecting. I see. I can use this to harvest all that. There's actually a really good cave in the, in the Mines of Moria that's like, Middle Central, and I'd love to be using um, what's called Middle Smash here. Let me just put him down for a bit to harvest in there. Look at that metal. Let's get rid of all this other stuff. Um, I'm gonna be cooking that metal up when I get back to base. Okay, so definitely this bit here is a hundred percent a um, like a rock that's part of the bloody cave, which is gonna be a pain in the ass. But let's get this. Let's just get this dog. I gotta go do an electronic run as well as part of this video, so we gotta get this because we need more electronics to build more turrets. No, Scorpion, no. Denied. 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 Oh, I got poison there. Nice. I feel like I'm suffocating. 
I walked over a gas vein. See, now that my uh, cryo thing is over, what, sh what I can do is pull out... See, I could pull out Rocky as well. I think I can pick up Rocky, and we can just chuck Rocky out, have Metal Smash here, and let me just double... And let, and just, they're both harvest with me. See? Rocky will start. So this is kind of how I'm going to clear out this cave. Slowly. Slowly but surely we will clear this cave out. Using Clipper. All my tames. I think I'm definitely going to be here gate off the water area down there. So nothing can come up and disturb me whenever I'm in this cave. But I'd also leave it as a death pool, death trap kind of thing. Because, you know what? The other monarchs can walk straight into their death. I don't. It don't bother me. This is my cave now, boys. Sorry, snail. Let's see this. This node here. These nodes here are so good for metal, actually. So I can just uh, go like, oh, look. He's got too much stuff in it. But look at that metal. Look, he just got... She just harvests away. In reality, I can just go like this. Clear these nodes out for myself. And hopefully they respawn, because then if I can still, like... Oh, this might be so much better for metal, too, man. Just come in here. Wrap myself back into my little hole out the back here. And now where's the teleporter down? It's down here, right? So if I can get these guys to sell the teleporter, I can... Oh, look, 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 look. I can just go... You down there. You down there. Move the crab over to here. I'm definitely going to have to tame another crab, man. I'm definitely going to have to get myself a male and see how breeding these guys work. But that... Look at that. Easy does it. Easy clear out. Teleport back to the base. Look at this. Look at this. Let me take these guys back to base with me. I can chuck that middle straight into the Indie Forge. It's just so good. It's so good. Like, this cave is going to be so very much worth taking over. And now let's get these turrets made, boys. Well, turret tower, turret things. Let's get all that middle. Boom. That's a lot of middle, actually. <laughs> back to the ab cave we go. Oh, I'm excited, boys. I'm excited to take this over. Because I know for a fact, once this, is, once this base is fully taken over, it's just, it's just game. It is game. This is my cave. Let's continue on. Let's head over. Let's let's get started on these turret builds. So I'll see you guys. I'll do like a little speed speed build of this thing. Alrighty, guys. As you've probably just seen, I put down the foundations of what will be the start of my death wall that I'm working on. I'm do, do death wall. I'm going to kind of like wedge people into a spot where it's just like, you're going to have to tr decide, oh, where am I going to block off? Where am I not going to block off? Kind of shit. But I think it's time we move the vault and then we'll get these turrets, this turret wall set up. I'm moving the vault. Okay. So I'm going to take the crowns out of there so I don't lose my crowns. I know for the fact that, yeah, my crowns are generating, my lockpicks are generating, but it's all right. We'll pick that up. We need to make sure it's in place where it needs to be so I can take down the turrets and everything down here and start moving all my defenses. Because the turrets in here are going to be in the room. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I'm not going to shit it all up, but I'm going to move the crowd vault over. We'll get this first little turret wall set up. Smack bang. Go for a little, what's the McCall note? Uh, run a thing run. So, crown vault. Okay. The vault is in the right place now, boys. Two hours later. Oh, I'm gonna die here. This is actually frustrating as hell that I've got stuck between this rock. Hopefully well, I don't lose all my shit. That is annoying. I was just trying to get the bullets in and make sure everything was right. And then I fell into that little gap there, which I'm definitely gonna have to fill up. I'm gonna have to fill that up. I'm just gonna make myself a stone thing to go fill it up. Oh, that's frustrating. Um... Bloodwing's probably my bit. Oh no, freaking is is blood? Wait, what's his name? Xnatcher over here. Xnatcher's over here, ain't he? Xnatcher's in the cave. I can easily go. I I'm trying to get this bloody thing set up so I can say, look, I've taken over the ab cave. This is my cave now. Come at me. Where's the Xnatcher? Xnatcher, please track. Like, I'm up. Let's get our butts over there. Hopefully my stuff isn't fully in the ground and meshed and lost because that would be absolutely devastating. I need to cover that ga gas vein. <laughs> Or I could leave it there because as they push, they can get hit by the gas vein, get stuck there. You know what I mean? Like, part of me wants to use the environment to my advantage in here because all those gas veins, they go off while they're pushing. Oh, that's a dead person. Like me just then, dying nicely. Um, can we just land here, please? 
Thank you, butter. Can I just hop up here? Can I grab all my stuff? Thank you. Can I then place my two new... No. Oh, I know I get myself stuck in the same spot. Okay, now that's not going to happen again. Let me just... Oh, the, this can turn on. Let's go. Okay, now we're going to set up the options. We're going to make sure this is on high. And accept. And this one can have 200. Now, I will probably set up the rest slightly different. But I should be able to set them all up. Nice and dandy. Too handy. Turn on, get the frick away from there so I don't suffocate no more. Ah, that gas vent. Yeah, I need to put a bloody gas collector on that. Some Something just to stop that from... Look. Look at my health go down. That takes half my health every time that does that. Freaking annoying. Okay, I need to get the rest of the bullets, but that is... I'm going to use the X-Natch for that. Let's me go get the rest of the bullets, guys. Let's fill this up. We'll get the, the first turrets up in this cave. Ah. Oh. This is going to be the best spot for me defending. And I think we might have to get Revenger and Cap soon. We're going to have to get Revenger and Cap for him stealing my crowns. I, I'm going to come. I'm going to headhunt him now. Originally, I thought I was going to go for Dave first, like for my first set of crowns, because Dave decided to go on Aberration to level up beforehand. And I just uh, I said, no, nah, that's not it. But I don't even know if Dave's got his thing down yet. So, not happening. And yeah, we're going to call that a day. I will be probably moving. The turrets that are in here over there now because I don't really need to defend the spot from people coming in and raid here because Crown Vault's not here. So they're not going to come and raid me here. They're going to go raid me in my ab cave, which is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with because you know what? I'm going to make this place a living hell to raid. All right, I'm going to have turret towers. I'm going to have everything. I'm going hondo mundo. Once I get those heavy turrets and some stuff, get some tech stuff going. Ugh. That entranceway is going to be a pain in the butt to get to. But once you get, if you get past that, then you're probably going to deal with the, the, the gorge here. Which I'm not going to cover over so you can walk across. No, you got to either jump across. I might have some, like a turret tower over there just shooting across at you. Maybe a turret tower here. Just sort of, a turret wall here. Just absolutely obliterating you from across the gorge where you try and make your way across. And you got the turret walls here. Oh, look. A, a snake has decided to sit on my... My metal. No, sir. None of that. None of that. Okay. There we go. The turrets are all activated now, boy. Look at that. That's nice. Nice little little wall. Once it's all done up to the top, it's going to be nice. And then it's going to have a pair one over here, too. So I'm going to have another turret wall there. So they're just going to walk out to here. Be like, I'm getting shot from this. Frick it. Let's try and dodge over here. Get behind. Well, not. There's another turret wall straight there. Double crossfire bull crap boy they're gonna gonna have a lot of fun well i hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode we're taking over this cave it's finally mine ah uh, i've been planning this out for the last week and a bit and it's still not fully defendable it's like i haven't got the defenses up yet and i'm still gonna grind up aberration cave is mine boy peace